Pollutants in the air make it difficult to breathe. The same is true for your car. And so an air filter is fitted as standard on internal combustion engines. The filter keeps dirt and particles out of the engine so it runs smoothly and efficiently. Trapping dust and grime is a dirty job. Air filters get clogged and have to be replaced regularly, so a steady supply is needed. To make an air filter, an automated spool unwinds thick paper and feeds it between two rollers. Bumps on the rollers press indentations into the paper. The short vertical ones are spacers to help air flow through the filter. The horizontal lines are creases where the paper has been scored for folding later. The rollers fold the paper as they push it out the other side. An automated counter keeps track of the folds. Each filter will have approximately 75 pleats. Now a conveyor belt moves the paper to a circular blade. A steel bar holds the paper pack down while the blade slides on a motorised rail, slicing the paper. The paper pack rolls down the conveyor belt, heading to the next station. In the meantime, a robotic arm sprays liquid wax onto aluminium moulds that will shape the tops and bottoms of the filters. The carousel turns, positioning another set for spraying. The wax will ensure that nothing sticks to the moulds during the next steps. Now, chrome-plated steel screens fall into a positioning tray. A robot picks them up, two at a time, and places them on the mould for the bottom of the filter. A plate bearing two top moulds flips forwards on the carousel. The carousel turns, and one paper pack is placed on the top moulds. Now, a robot dispenses a liquid polyurethane mixture around the screen in the bottom mould. The automated plates flip back so that the top moulds with the paper packs face downwards. An air cylinder pushes the plate holding the bottom moulds up to meet the top ones. The polyurethane swells and covers the screen and the paper pack, forming a solid, flexible plastic layer. A robot with grippers peels the new air filter out of the mould and sets it on a cooling rack. Because of the wax sprayed onto the moulds, the filters pull out easily. After they're cooled, the rack tips up and the air filters tumble down a slide. To a worker who collects each one. With a bandsaw, the excess polyurethane is trimmed off. Now all that's left is the packaging. On another assembly line, a robot prepares to make a radial seal filter. It sprays wax onto the brims of moulds that look like inverted top hats. A small wheel turns and delivers the moulds to a larger assembly wheel. Another robot picks up plastic caps and places them inside the moulds. Then, a pneumatic pusher raises the caps and nozzles dispense a hot bead of glue onto their edges. Another pneumatic pusher forces round packs of pleated paper out of cylindrical holders and into the moulds. The large wheel keeps on turning positioning the moulds to receive more packs or tubes of filter paper. The wheel pushes the paper-filled moulds onto a conveyor belt. And down the line, a robot pumps a polyurethane mix into the bottom mould for the filter. A worker presses the paper-filled top mould onto it. Heat triggers the chemical reaction that expands the polyurethane, encasing the bottom of the filter paper and forming a gasket that will fit tightly near an engine intake. The radial air filter is now completely assembled and it's taken just 20 minutes. The air filters are now ready to do some dirty work.